what's up? It's me, Percy. So we are back once again with a Halloween cartoon character or character that um, pertains to, of course, Halloween. Um, so I was looking at the comments and it seems that they're, once again, they're like sporadic. They're all over like the Frank and Weenie and Sally and everything else. Um, and plus this has been a request for a very long time now on how to draw Coraline. So I'm obsessed with Coraline and I'm pretty sure there's a couple of other people who are pretty obsessed. Uh, I still, it's still a comfort go-to movie for me. So I don't know about you guys. So let's go ahead and draw Coraline. So first what I want to do is I'm going to of course make this flat line right here, okay? I'm going to come around here and then I'm going to come around right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and join it and bring it almost to a point. This needs to be more even like that. So if I got rid of this, okay? So before we keep on going, just keep in mind that Coraline she's not she's a bit off in different places so her nose is off the size of her eyes are different like the uh, left eye is larger than the right eye and of course everything's just kind of off kind of like you know all the characters in the movie were off they there's nothing symmetrical about them so if you make something a little bit obscure or ob oblique then you know what you got it right because this is the style of this claymation this is a clear image. Yes, it is. Okay. First thing I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and divide the face right down the middle like that. Okay. Then I'm going to make my eye line right up here because her eyes are a little bit more located at the top of her head. All right. Now, what I want to do after that is I'm going to jump over here and her eyes, like I said, this eye on this side, this side is a little bit larger than the one on the other side. And when I say larger, I mean in length. But it's they're still almost like perfect circles. I'm gonna make this one a little bit wider, just like that. So this one's like a little bit taller, and this one's a little bit shorter. Okay. So then after that, what I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and at least set her nose. Now the thing about her nose is it kind of is curved off to the side. So here's our middle line of her face. So I kind of want to curve this off to the side just like that, okay? After that, what we're going to do is we're just going to make a little bit of a triangle like this. Like that, okay? So we have this little itty bitty triangle like that. Because this is the overall shape of her nose. That's exactly what she looks like. Alright, so to make it a little bit more human, I'm going to add a little bit of a point to that nose. And then of course a nostril here and a nostril here. And then you can turn that triangle off to the side with a little bit of shadow. But it is overall a very pointy nose. And once again, just keep this like slanted to the side like that. All right? After that, um, I'm gonna come to one of her eyeballs and I'm just gonna place one eyelid here like that. Okay, and I kind of curved it just a little bit. Okay, and then I'm going to jump over here and place one eyelid over here like that, okay? After that, I'm going to go ahead and draw the iris, and then over here, I'm going to do the exact same thing, just like that. Alright, and her eyes are brown, but I'm going to put a little bit of a shine here and a shine here. And put her pupil, and then again her pupil. And like I said, her eyes are brown color those in lightly like that okay so she doesn't have that much of eyelashes but if you want to go ahead and give her like a thick line for her eyelash line right here and we don't really see the bottom of her eye her bottom eyelid as much it's just a circle we see a little bit of eye eyelid and I'm gonna go ahead and shade that in just because it is a darker skin color compared to her pale skin like that all right after that, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and make her eyebrow on top right here. So I'm going to just, this one is just like this, just like a little line. And then this one's going to kind of be curved upward, just like that, and then back down, just like that. They just look like little noodles. They're not that hard. Okay, then after that, I'm going to come right underneath her nose, where we made her nose, right here. And I'm gonna go ahead. Now her lips are pretty easy. It's just like, it's a round top like this. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and start her smile going upward like this. And keep that upward, that up lip right here. All right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly part it just a little bit. And then I'm going to go right back up into the smile like that. Once again, she's very obscure and oblique, her, her features, a lot like Sally. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump inside of her mouth, not literally, and I'm going to darken around right here with the corners. And just make it nice and dark like she's talking, right? And then I'm going to come underneath and make the rest of her lips. And just line that bottom. And then this line at the corner blends in just like that, okay? So it's very dark, dark open mouth and then um, large, they're almost about the same size like that. She's just talking. All right, after that, one important feature that Coraline has all over her face are freckles. So they're not close to each other. They're very spaced out. So I'm just gonna kind of lightly space out all across her face like that now the part of her hair starts over here so we're gonna go ahead and separate her bangs parts right here because her bangs are coming over in here and they're lining the top of her head like that and then they're gonna come around and they're basically her hair is completely framing her face so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead for my part and then I'm gonna go ahead and just make a little bit taller and then I'm gonna go ahead and draw the top right here and then of course the sides gonna go ahead and start coming downward here let's focus on this side first where I'm going I'm going to come out just a little bit over here circle down and then I'm gonna tuck behind her head right here for right now. Okay, and then of course I'm gonna jump over here. Now for this side, we see a little bit more like broken up pieces of her hair and everything. It's not as together as this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring out this side and then I'm gonna bring out this side as well, like that, okay? Another thing is, it's very odd, but about Coraline is her ears are out here. So we have a little ear poking out on the side of her head here. And of course we have an ear all the way out here as well, like that, okay? And then after that, Coraline's hair, of course, is a very dark blue. So what I did with Coraline, I know her hair is just like they're literally like this, these very stiff sections, but sometimes it's nice just to add a little bit more dimension and just maybe fluff, fluff out her hair just a little bit. And of course, I'm gonna make this darker because it's behind her head and you can just give it like a couple of strands going on back here. And just, I'm just fluffing out her hair. But the direction of her hair is going this way. Now I'm going to leave a little bit of room right here for where her bangs are meeting this side of her hair because she has a dragonfly pin. So here's the head of the dragonfly, here's the body, we have a wing, a wing, a wing, and a wing. And there we have the dragonfly pin. And then I'm going to go behind that and make it a little bit darker over here. So the hair direction is going this way and then I'm going to jump over this side and we can see in the image I'm looking at I can see a little bit more distinction of strands and of course it's kind of like Sally because it's dealing with claymation hair once again this of course this these two sections are behind your head so of course they're overall just going to be dark like this and then this section here and this section here are getting hit by the light sunlight directly and I'm just gonna flip this out over here just a little bit just to make it fluffy and then this direct, this side of her hair, the direction is going just straight down. Like that. Her neck. 
Now her neck is really easy. It's just one little section right here, like that. All right, now after that, we're gonna go ahead and draw her raincoat, okay? So for her raincoat, basically we're gonna make like a box section right now with rounded corners. So I'm just gonna make this rectangle box thing here, okay? And then behind the box, I'm just gonna go ahead and circle behind her neck like that. And then off to the side of the box, I'm gonna come over here like this. And then that's when, after I make this section, I kind of flip out over here, make a little flip here and a flip here, okay? This is just giving a little bit of distinction that her coat has a hood to it. So then after that, what I wanna do is I wanna make one shoulder right here, like that, and then over here, at the edge of my box, I'm just gonna make one shoulder right here like this. Cause this arm is gonna be on her hip and this arm is just kind of tucked behind her body. All right, so I'm gonna bring out this arm just a little bit and then I'm gonna make it a big bulky arm because her rain jacket is super big on her. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, divide that section off. Okay, and then I'm just gonna make a little bit little section just showing right here like that all right and then that's when it's going to kind of get a little bit more skinnier and it's going to come inward like that all right now for her rain jacket it's got lots and lots of folds because it's this big rubber yellow rain jacket so we have a fold we're going to start from the corner here we have a big fold right here like that so we have a section here a section here and then we have like this weird looking lump right here of fabric of her rain jacket okay leave this because this is like the lining of her actual arm okay and then we're gonna go underneath this fold I'm gonna make this fold here divide that up like that so I make this triangle right here and then I'm gonna come inward just a bit like that now we've got lots of folds going on. Once again, this is a great time for shading and stuff because we have a crazy, crazy awesome folded jacket. So we have a fold right here as well. So there's all kinds of folds going on right here. Like I said, wonderful opportunity for shading. Just go underneath each fold or by each fold and just shade it in. So this is would be shaded in. And then of course, this would be shaded in as well and then of course down the side like this okay so her hand is on her hip so we're just going to go ahead and draw at least this little circle right here like this for right now and that's when I'm going to draw one finger here and I'm going to go ahead and draw the pinky and the whole section of her hand like that okay and then of course I'm going to go ahead and close off the cuff of that rain jacket and of course I'll bring out the cuff just a little bit just give it a little bit more dimension like that so one finger here and it's curved outward like that okay and then we have one finger here and then one finger here and of course her pinky is just curved inward like that all right so this is more since this is like we're seeing more of the fingers so this part of her hand I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this part. We're seeing like a shadow because we're, once again, crazy shading. And we're seeing more of her fingers and her, the, the direct sunlight is hitting her actual fingers. So we have one pointer finger here, middle finger, ring finger, and of course like her, um, would be off to the side like that. Just hanging off the side of her hip like that, just a little bit. We're gonna go straight down with her rain jacket like this. Like that, okay? So we make like a bell shape almost. Now that's what I'm gonna jump over off to the side over here and I'm just gonna bring down this side of the bell shape as well. Like that, okay? Now her other arm, once again, lots and lots of folds. So I'm just gonna make this circle right here for right now. 
And then of course, I'm gonna make this section here too, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and at least divide the rain jacket up like that. Okay? Then after that, I'm gonna go ahead and draw her backpack because her hand is holding, it's like hanging on. Her hand will be right here holding onto the strap of her backpack. So here's the strap right here where you can go through the hand and of course make a box like this all right and I can go ahead and just attach that here and here's like the little fold for her bag and I'm going to round off the edges of the bag just so it looks more like a satchel bag, whatever. Okay, that's what I'm going to go ahead and jump to her hand right here. And it's going to be a lot similar to this one. Okay, except let's start with the thumb. I want to keep this overall shape, of course. So the thumb is just kind of grasping it off to the side right here. So the thumb is peeking around behind the strap. Okay, and of course her pointer finger it's going to be like this, 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 one finger here, finger, 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 and then one finger here. And then of course this part of her hand, see it just a little bit like that. Okay. Now this is more in the shadow because once again we're seeing more of the fingers here than off to the side right here. Now, for her arm, just to make it look a little bit more natural, once again, lots of folds and everything, and since it's more tucked behind her, because she's got it, like, onto the side of her, puff of the jacket, I'm gonna go ahead and darken that opening, okay? And of course, this is circled around and up. And here's the cuff of her jacket once again. And you're gonna lead into here. And like I said, since this part of her body is tucked, I'm just gonna shade it in like that, okay? Go back to her shoulder like this, okay. Now she's wearing this big, gigantor jacket. And of course, she's this tiny little thing. So we need to go around and just like totally revamp this jacket and make it a little bit more lumpy and everything. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go around of course, this is her hip. I'm gonna bring this down, out. And of course, instead of making this more like a bell, I'm gonna go ahead and round off my corners. I'm gonna come to the middle of it and just give it like rounded, bulgy kind of feel to it, okay? Of course, her shoulder should be a little bulgy as well. And this is always a great opportunity to go in and pretend where the folds are in the jacket and everything. And just shade around, just like we did over here a little bit. So there would be some shading right here as well. There'd be shading over here. There'd be shading on her actual hood, hiding behind her head. And then there would be shading around her neck, like that. And of course there would be like shading over here down the strap. So we're gonna go ahead and make that division where her zipper would be, like that, okay? And But we are going to leave the middle line that we, we originally started with, like this. So after that, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and draw a little circle here and a little circle here, and that's where you can draw the little shoestrings out from her jacket, we all have them. Okay, and then of course, I would shade like back around here. Go away. Okay. Like that, all right. Then her satchel, purse, bag, whatever it is, is like a maroon color so I would go ahead and just color this in for now okay and then of course just to give a little bit more distinction to show her size inside the actual coat we're just going to give a little peak a little just the bottom of her skirt right here 
just make a little skirt like that because that's how tiny she is. And of course we have one leg here. That is literally a twig. Just like that. That's her leg. And you can get like, since we're getting close to her knee, you can just get a little bulgy in the middle right here. Just give it a little indication that it is a knee. And of course there's another leg right here. And once again, very skinny. Very, very skinny and I get a little bulgy in the knee right here, just like that. Okay, and of course, if you want, you can go ahead and draw like the top of her rain boots. So I ran off the page again. And even her rain boots are ginormous on her. So I'll make those very big. Okay. Just like that. And then of course, her skirt is a weird, like, it looks like a carpet bag almost. And it's maroon. So I can color that. And then her stockings or pants or whatever she's wearing tights are striped but they're gray and purple so go ahead and stripe these up just like that and I can color in I can shade in the top of her boots so we have the whole half of her face is kind of shaded and then of course I'm just gonna go ahead give a little distinction right here that this is this side of her nose and it's more protruding outward and of course we got like a dark shadow underneath her head on her neck like this go around and just kind of smooth out your shading around her actual coat and everything and that way it'll look more blended and everything just because another great thing about Coraline that she has is what you can go around and just lightly circle in her nails. She has very distinct blue nails. Just like that. Well, she's very, she's a very obscure, weird looking kind of character. She doesn't exactly like match up to, of course, it's almost in the style of Tim Burton. I know Tim Burton didn't do the movie, but I think the people who helped him out with Nightmare Before Christmas actually made the movie. I don't know, something like that. Um, but yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you have a wonderful week. I will see you on Saturday. And once again, we have one week left of October. So leave in the comments below what last Halloween character you would like to draw. Like a lot of a lot of you are actually mentioned uh, Par Norman from Paranorman. So we could draw him. This is the same people who made Coraline. But yeah, it's totally up to you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week. 